Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe what's going on with mineral cleavage. What's the basic underlying reason that some minerals cleave and other ones don't? And you should be able to describe how to use mineral cleavage to identify different minerals. Here's an interesting phenomenon. This is a crystal of mica. And you can see that this person is actually peeling back a layer from that mica. The mica readily splits into thin little sheets that are transparent and relatively flexible, but the sheets themselves are very hard to break. What's happening here is a classic example of mineral cleavage. On the atomic level, the mica has very strong bonds that hold together the sheets. So between the atoms of the sheets of mica themselves, the bonds are quite strong, but those sheets are held together with relatively weak bonds. So these little red dots that you see here in the middle are relatively weak bonds that are really easy to split. So it's easy to break the little red weak bonds, but it's very difficult to break the blue colored strong bonds. Not every mineral has cleavage. Some minerals have equal strength bonds, 